Just pass the guard. See, I could go leg off. You can pass, show, all that good stuff. Now I turn back into you. We're in half guard. Remember what I said earlier? If the person's locked and they're trying to frame, yeah, you walk, they hip escape. You see the underhook of the leg when they post the mat to hip escape? Now, as they try to bend their leg, straighten it out, gain leverage at the lower point. Oh my goodness. Okay, right there. It, we, we're, we're live in three, two, one. Teach me grappling, what's up guys? It's going down tonight. Megan Parducho is fixing her hair and she's gonna help me tonight. Um, she had a question tonight about a knee bar. So guys, do you guys ever knee bar? If you guys don't know how to knee bar, we're gonna show you guys a cool knee bar, okay? Are you ready to knee bar? Okay, come on over. Let's do it. There's many ways to do this, guys. This is, again, I'm not gonna show crazy details. This is not something I do on a regular basis. It is something I used to do back in the 90s, but I don't do it anymore. So I'm just gonna show some basic shit on how to get this. Um, come on over, Megan. Megan was asking about this. Lean your back. I'm in half guard. Half guard, half guard, half guard. You notice my right leg is entangled with her right leg like this. So I want a knee bar that leg. Now if she's locked, I'm not gonna knee bar it, okay? But when I'm in this position, and I'm on top in side, or uh, half guard, oftentimes I can put my hip down and she may open like this. If she decides to open and I move up this way, I maybe try to pull my foot out, but Megan knows, that helps Megan, and now she can control my ankle. And she may like this, she may play a, a certain style of half guard for that. Instead of moving up north, I'm gonna move down south, okay? So when I'm here, I'm gonna push my knee in through the half guard, and then if I try to walk this way, like Aerosmith and run DMC, she may put her foot on the mat to get an adjustment. You see how she adjusted her hip? She doesn't want me to smash her hips that way. So again, watch again. She's trying me, okay? I start to walk. I underhook her leg here. I just place my hand. And then what I do is, I pull this leg and lift it up, and I slide this knee underneath. Now you can see, her leg is shelved on top of my left leg. Now I've got a knee bar, okay? Sometimes you'll see it done like this. I don't prefer it like this, but it can be done, especially against little people, like Meg. Right, Meg? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So right here, you can pull this back and knee bar. I prefer to have left arm under, like this hand, under here, and then this one here, as I dig my shoulder right into her gut, I now place my hip close with my heel, digging, pulling towards my butt. I plant my toe. See my toe, John? Right here. I take this toe, plant it right there, and squeeze, and now my arms clamp, and then I just arch. And I get a knee bar, okay? What do you think, Meg? That was a different feeling. That was a different feeling? No. It felt different. Did the it hurt your felt, knee? Yeah, no, I'm saying it was interesting. One felt like it was going to pop, the other one felt like this was going to... Like getting stretched, you get my hamstring stretch. Yeah, well that, that, that's to be expected. Like when I'm here, I'm stretching your hamstring. Okay, you guys want to be careful of all these positions. I'm not saying it's the most dangerous submission in the world. But when somebody's going fast, you, you just never know. You try to rotate your knee, see how I'm loose? You try to rotate your knee, but if somebody gets a good bite on it and they're big and strong and they you see how my legs close, it could mess your knee up. So be careful. 
Uh, that's one. I can be square. I can be square bridging into the mat like this. And as well, I could have her up on top. You guys could be playing half guard from the bottom. Every once in a while, you'll get an underhook, and then your opponent will try, when you're under here looking for old school, your opponent will try to pull their leg out, and you'll get the clamp right there. It's a feel. I close my thighs, I let her knee out a little bit, and then this arm that's on the underhook, I control the leg. It's very important I don't want her hip to twist so that her knee can point a different direction. See how I tight wrap that right there, Meg? And then now I'm not letting you. And then I knee ball, okay, just like that. Now the question, what should you be triangled? Should you be crossed? I play with it, guys. Some people triangle. Uh, sometimes you'll see me, I'll cross ankles. I'll pull knees to my chest and then I'll arch with toe planted like that. And sometimes they freak out because they know that the knee is coming, so they really try to turn their knee. Maybe you'll turn it like you're doing a knee cut, and I might roll you, yeah, like this. And then now you can finish on top, or you can pass. You can pass and go to the side. So there's probably a lot more to it. Guys, I'm trying to keep it as simple as I can. But uh, Megan, since you like to play your uh, Meganator, let's, let's do this move right into the Meganator. So let's do this knee bar, or knee bar, and then go ahead, get, play like a deep half, like you're kind of, you're coming up in the deep half, and you're swinging up. So say we were here in deep half, this is Meganator territory, but let's say, for example, the person falls towards their back, and then you come up, you can rotate right there. And you see, she's got her underhook of the leg. I'm now thinking I've got a hip escape, and she's not gonna allow it, and then you might be a little too low. Yeah, so look over here, guys. The, the, the sweet spot for me is usually about shoulder in the hip or the gut. I would climb up a little bit more, right into there, Nice. Now, now do you feel what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah, oh my goodness. Right there. So she's got a fairly good hold. And then now, yeah, just keep it real quick. Play with some variations. On your side, go ahead, give it to me. Give it to me, right there. Good, show me belly down, right there. Yeah, okay. What if I turn my knee? Can you let me turn my knee? I can't turn it, but let's say I turn my knee. No, 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 instead of following it, just pass the guard. See, I could go leg off. You can pass, show, all that good stuff. Now I turn back at you. We're in half guard. Remember what I said earlier? If the person's locked and they're trying to frame, yeah, you walk, they hip escape. You see the underhook of the leg when they post the mat to hip escape? Now, as they try to bend their leg, straighten it out, gain leverage at the lower point. Oh my goodness. Okay, right there. And then now, let's combine it. Get that thing, go ahead, get it again, that knee bomb. And then let's say, for example, for fun, let's say I was here and I tried to turn and roll up on top, you could go right into your Meganator, which the Meganator, or the Parducha lock, as Megan calls it, is basically a foot lock, you know, with her legs. It's like the same thing as the knee bar, except the knee is pointing the wrong way, right? It's pointing, so yeah. Instead of a knee bar, it hurts there. When I rotate my foot this way, it's gonna hurt here at the knee joint. Go ahead and bridge into that one. Control my knee so I can't turn. No, you wanna, you wanna kind of like gather, get real close. Do you see what I mean? So now, my knee, there's no space. Go ahead, arch it. Yeah, right there. Yeah, I don't. Well, you're also a little smaller, and the knee joint, the knee joint, here's the truth. The knee joint's bigger than the elbow joint. So you guys are gonna struggle sometimes with the knee joint. Um, again, I, I've told the story a thousand times. When, I'm, uh, when I was first starting and I did my first tournament, I got a knee bar. It was not this one, it was a regular knee bar. And uh, I used every ounce of energy I had, and I barely 
blew the dude's knee and made him tap. I had to use every ounce of strength I had and I immediately said to my coach, knee bars don't work because I had to use so much energy to accomplish it. But I also realized there was flaws in my technique and I fixed that and the knee bar is easier now. However, having said that, size matters. If you're 130 pounds and you're trying to submit a 250 pound man on his knee joint, unless he, if he, does, if he has healthy knees, he's probably gonna laugh at you, okay? More than likely his leg will have no problem with your pressure. But an arm bar on the other hand, even though that's even hard in itself with the weight difference, an elbow lock is a lot easier most of the time, okay? But again, it also depends on the person. Sometimes people have bad knees and they tap immediately and their, their joints, you can literally grip them and you can feel their joints are weak and other times their joints are really strong. I've gotten huge guys in heel hooks before and their heel, it's like trying to tug on a, you know, a brontosaurus's leg. I don't know if brontosauruses have heels. Do they have heels, Megan? Yes. She says brontosauruses have heels. You could heel hook a brontosaurus. Okay. All right, Megan. Is that all you have for tonight? Megan's very talkative on the channel. That's why I put her on the channel. She loves to talk. And um, Megan, yeah. what, can you give some words of advice for the jujitsu people in the Teach Me Grappling world? They're trying to get better at jujitsu, and they probably just watch this channel so they can see your cute face. Oh my God. What can you? What kind of advice can you give them? Train. Okay. You heard it from her, guys. Train. Thank you guys so much. Teach me grappling. I hope you enjoyed this knee bar. If you have other details that you like better than mine, then use those. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys later.